As a specialized agency of the United Nations, WMO is dedicated to international cooperation and coordination of the state and behavior of the Earth's atmosphere, its interaction with the land and oceans, the weather and climate it produces. WMO saw fit to publish this dramatic evocation of global warming in a press release on 15 November 2023. It stated that greenhouse gas concentrations hit record high again. The gases it is referring to are by and large those of carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide. Reflecting the WMO claim, atmospheric carbon dioxide concentration measured in parts per million have increased since January 2016. So too has the atmospheric concentration of methane measured in parts per billion. And so too has the atmospheric concentration of nitrous oxide, again measured in parts per billion. Therefore, in line with the hypothesis that increased greenhouse gas concentration caused global warming and the melodramatic scenario of WMO, it would be expected that the land areas across the globe would have seen a significant positive trend in temperature since 2016. To check this hypothesis, we first looked at the Northern Hemisphere which contains North America, the northern part of South America, Europe, the northern two-thirds of Africa, and most of Asia. We used the latest NOAA data retrieved on November 19, 2023, and were surprised to find that the northern hemisphere land temperature did not increase in tandem with the increases in greenhouse gases since January 2016. In fact, Northern Hemisphere land has been on a cooling trend of minus 0.55 degrees Celsius per century since January 2016. So we speculated that the increase in temperatures must have been concentrated into the land of the Southern Hemisphere, which contains Australia, Antarctica, some Asian islands, most of South America, and one third of Africa. But again, the NOAA data proved our speculation to be wrong. The Southern Hemisphere land temperature did not increase in tandem with the increases in greenhouse gases since January 2016. In fact, Southern Hemisphere land has been on a cooling trend of minus 0.77 degrees Celsius per century since 2016. In a video to be published by the end of November, we will discuss, given the analysis of both Northern and Southern Hemisphere land, just what on earth does global average temperature mean? And how can it possibly be used to determine policies such as net zero? For now, we make one request of the sponsors of COP28, the UN, WEF and WMO. That is, to consider the findings of this video and to discuss the matter at COP28. If you enjoyed this video, you are invited to join our community on locals.com. This link will take you directly to our site.